Okay, so yesterday I had my wisdom teeth out. Um, I had all four of them removed all at the same time. Um, and it was just a blast and a half, I'll tell you that. Um, so we go all the way down to this um, oral surgery place that we were referred to um, in order to, to go get this done because my regular dentist doesn't do oral surgery. And so we go in and fill out a bunch of paperwork and wait and wait and wait and wait. And so after I sign all my releases and stuff, I we have to go back into the... I have to go back in like this little exam room where they show me my x-rays and this orderly is giving me like a class on teeth. Like I'm sitting in this chair and he's he's lecturing to me about what teeth I'm having removed and why it's good to have your wisdom teeth removed. It's like, okay man, you know, I think he was just sort of killing time so they could get the uh, the, the real room ready for me. And so, you know, they, I finally get into the, you know, the main, the main uh, oral surgery room, and I get set up on a chair. You know, they get me all set up. They put little um, sticky things all over me, and they plug me up to a heart monitor, which was kind of funny. Um, but I guess they need to do that because they uh, they put me completely out. I mean, out. Um, and then they put all these papers, all these like tissue papers and they put they put give me like this little triangle oxygen mask and um so actually I have my little I, I have a little IV bruise right there they uh they start the doctor started an IV has the has the uh like the rubber band like a big rubber band around my wrist with the thing in my hand and he says okay we're going to start to relax you and we'll get going and so, he undoes the strap and starts the medicine flowing, and I don't feel anything, and so he uh, starts to ask me, he says, you know, are you starting to feel it? Are you feeling, you know, a little relaxed and everything? And I start to tell him, I say, yeah, I, you may need to make this a little bit stronger. I mean, it's not really working. I mean, I don't feel it working at all, and the next thing I know, I'm waking up. <laughs> so, I, apparently it did work. Um, so... You know, as soon as you know, the next thing I'm they're waking me up and um the the little sticky things that they stuck all over my chest under my shit are gone. I don't remember them taking them off. And um you know, my mouth's all stuffed with cotton and um I've got a little band aid on my arm where they've taken the IV out and they get me up and they lay me on a little bench bed thing and I conk out for a minute and then um Daniel comes get me go, comes to get me and um then I sort of, then we sort of stagger out there and um they have me write a check for my copay which is like I I remember what it was like two hundred and seventy three dollars something like that. But I kept writing a check for two hundred thirty seven and they're like, No, 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 it's not right and so I kept writing check after check after check because I couldn't <laughs> get it together I was all uh, <laughs> I was all spaced out and so I finally wrote them a check for the correct amount and uh, Daniel carted me home on the metro or we took a cab to the metro and then I, I got on the train um, to get, <laughs> go home while he went to go get my painkillers so <laughs> that was my little adventure getting my my teeth out um, so I got all four removed and it it does hurt a bit. Um, I ate pudding all day yesterday and applesauce, and um, I think I tried to eat some mac and cheese or something. I really soft stuff, but I just pretty much slept all day. So you know it's because of this. I'm sort of oh, oh, it's my ferrets bugging us. Um, so. I'm just sort of hanging out at home now. I'm still on a little bit of the painkillers, and I'm just chilling out today. So, that was my wisdom tooth experience. Bye.